Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. Please be aware that we have the 1111 portal coming up. Get on in there if you want your reading. Make sure you get in there. Also, check the description box because I will have uh, listings of lives and things that you can join and they're really fun. We have a great time with this. So let's see what we got here. We have, let's breathe, Maya. This Maya card always reminds me of Archangel Metatron kind of energy and I think it's because there's sacred geometry. Hello dogs, okay, whatever. <laughs> dogs going crazy in the background. Um, there's a sacred geometry back here. So this is, and schooling, study, that's Metatron as well. And education, help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. Now, you could take this quite literally. And P.S., if you are a student, you can be working with Archangel Metatron. He helps you manage your time, retain information. Uh, Michael helps you have clarity around things, all that good stuff. So you could take this quite literally if you're in, you know, university or you are studying something, what have you. But what this feels like is, ooh, that deep soul. We're in the earth school. Look out. Here are the lessons. <laughs> we finally figured it out or we passed the test or something. But when we keep, we keep talking, like if you have not watched the other dailies that I did before this one, or if you haven't seen the weekly that I just published around the same time as this one, go check them all out because this, there's a theme here. And if you want to know what's coming up, be looking at all this because we're kind of the things that we end up learning, not only about what's going on out in the world, but how, how we respond to it or us waking, waking up to, um, how brainwashed we've been. That's what it is. We're waking up to how brainwashed we've been and it's learning about you all over again. I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. This is the school of you, right? So taking this involves taking accountability too. You know, where do you not accept blame? Where do you not? And, and that can be a touchy thing because if you have been the scapegoat of your family and you're blamed all the time, you might have a real big reaction when someone tries to tell you it's your fault. You know, your, your initial thing might be like, don't you even go there. Don't you even try to blame me. I'm not taking the blame for one more thing. And it actually was your fault. But <laughs> it gets tricky. But discernment, right? Look at what is actually there. Again, it's a learning process here. All right? We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love.